600 horsepower. We're talking about basically, being race engines, the truth is they're probably 10% more than that. So putting them around 495, you've got two of them, so spaghetti Veyron on the back of the, this boat. When you think of it like that, 1,000 horsepower, yeah. Fishing boat. For real, like an actual fishing boat. It's been 450 hours. Like really, really, really self efficient. Drive holders, rock naming racks, stories, drive well. I'm tipping 1000 ores. It's going to go pretty good. Grab it, Mark the Russian, Cooper, race man. This guy's professional, so we can't show you his face. living yeah, I'll tell you what that is called living we've literally driven up here six hours with no warning we're basically a couple of GoPros jumped on the board boat with Mark the Russian in this weapon of a fishing vessel I mean we're literally talking about a fishing vessel we're just doing near on 70 knots across the bloody lake Mark's saying if we're offshore and we had a bit of air on the boat and a bit more shock we'll have a lot more top speed 
If you tuned it up and put the right props on it, a lot more top speed. If you pulled the canopy off it, a lot more top speed. We know, mate. It's a fishing boat. And let me tell you, it was fast enough. Holy shit. It's made me just respect that speed. It's made me respect that speed. So when people tell you their boat does yeah, 70 knots, just take it from me. It's insane. Thoughts? Bloody quick. Yeah. Here we go again. No. Head enough. <laughs> He's going, no, that's enough. That, that's good fast. But you can understand, that's crazy shit. Right here, made in Malakuta, good craft boats with Mark the Russian, all the way down from Southeast Australia. Crazy. 